It's Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. I'm Ashley Pollard here for today's edition of Tuesday Talk, where we review common real estate and mortgage related topics. Today's topic is jumping into the rising interest rates. Should you buy or sell now or should you wait? So I have two resources that I'm going to share with you today. The first is from Keeping Current Matters, which I encourage you to follow if you want to be up to date on the newest real estate talk and trends and what um, they are forecasting for the future. Now, this is a 2022 housing market forecast here. It says that home prices are supposed to appreciate an average of 9% this year, which honestly is a lot lower than the 14, 15, 16% that we saw in 2021. Um, now, we're thinking that they're not going to increase as much because the, the interest rates are rising. So at some point, the home prices have to plateau, but because there's still low inventory and high demand, the prices are gonna continue to rise. Now, this brings us to the mortgage rate part. Should I buy now or should I wait until mortgage rates go down again? Well, unfortunately, if you did not buy in 2020 when the interest rates were 2% or 3%, you know, in early, even early 2021, you missed that train. The train has left the station and now the train that has arrived is the train of the 5% interest rates that we're seeing. So it does say that the 30 year fixed mortgage rate will peak between five and 5.7%, which is where we are now. And so we'll probably stay in this range for um, the foreseeable future, but the interest rates might get as high as the low 6% range. So if you're like, oh, I'm gonna just wait and see what happens or I'm waiting for the market crash, I mean, it's a market crash. No one is going to benefit in a market crash if you can't possibly find a way to benefit now that we're not in a market crash. If you don't have the funds today, you're not going to have the funds if the market takes a plunge. So, you know, I think that we just have to do our own due diligence and research on what a market crash would look like. Do some research, talk to people who have experienced it. Um, because I think, unfortunately, some buyers and sellers are waiting for something that's not going to be a better situation for them. So I want to now also take you to this Freddie Mac website, which shows the 30 year fixed rate mortgages since 1971. And I just want to show you the trends of how mortgage rates have fluctuated over the years. Um, so look at here, 2021 uh, and the end of 2020, these were the lowest interest rates that we've seen in some time. And that's what people I think are waiting to come back since now we're up in the 5% range. But when's the last time the interest rates were 2%? Let's look here. I'm just gonna scroll just so you can kind of get an idea. Like there's no 2% here and I'm all the way back in 2003, right? I'm talking about maybe 20 years ago. And if you look at when the market crashed back in 08, look at what the interest rates were. 5%, 6%, um, 2009, they started to drop a little bit and then continue to drop there on out. So that's kind of where we are now. May's numbers haven't been published since we just started the month uh, a week and a half ago, but we're at the 5% range in May, and we might be at 6% by the end of the year, which is what has been forecasted. So this is the time to buy. If you want the lowest interest rates of this time, you know, this is it. The twos and threes, done. Um, so it's a great time to buy. It's always a great time to buy. You just have to be smart. Be strategic, work with a really great team, and they're going to get you to the closing line. So if you have any questions about this, let me know. But if not, have a great day, and I will see you next week.